So real quick, just so you can kind of get a view of um, what I've done, I designed and planted this whole pathway. It does not look the same through the growing season. It is constantly growing, blooming, and changing. It's, it's really quite beautiful. I love coming out here. It's my favorite, favorite garden because this was really the place where uh, it all began. Uh, in the in the yard. So um, I'll just kind of like walk around uh, real quick just so you can kind of see the gardens and what I've done. Um, house used to be a ranch. Now it's Center Hall Colonial. And uh, you can see some of the plantings going down the side. Yard. We had a recent freeze here which damaged some of my plants. Uh, you know, nature is what it is, so hopefully they'll rebound. But, uh, so that is that garden, and I'm gonna slowly pan around so you can take a look at the well garden. This garden started because we needed to move well over here, and uh, I recently just extended it to add some flowers for cutting. I would like to start a cutting garden so that I can cut flowers and bring them inside. Um, this has really got a lot going on right now. Uh, the peonies are about to go, and I've got some flowering shrubs in here. Got an evergreen, just for year-round color, and uh, that is the well garden. And so, just to pan around, back to the front. And then just to show you real quick, the mailbox garden. Uh, I plant a lot of annuals in here, but I also have some clematis daylilies and uh, some sedum and I think that's it for ones that come back. Most of this is annuals. Um, that's a view of the house from this angle. Now I'll take you in the backyard. And as we walk to the backyard, wouldn't it be so nice to see a beautiful garden path here? <laughs> I'm telling you that's like one of the last big projects that I need to do. This side of the yard has kind of been a little neglected. I want to take out some of these plantings and add some conical evergreens to get a focal point here. And uh, I definitely want to do some work in this garden. It does get a lot of shade. Uh, I do think there are spots that get sun because uh, the trees aren't completely shading it, but this is the backyard. We've got a little fire pit area over here that we did last year. We love this. We, we are out here every weekend. Um, and this is my little perennial garden and flowering shrub garden that I added when we built the vegetable garden in front of the shed. I uh, just kind of slowly started extending the garden out this way, pretty much because grass was having difficulty growing there and we just really got tired of fighting it, so we just made a garden. <laughs> um, so I've got a vegetable bed back there. It is starting to fall apart. I would love to be able to fix that myself and not have to involve my husband on that one at all. But again, I need to get some building skills before I can do that. So uh, this is the shed that we refreshed. And uh, I mean, just, it looks so good. It just fades into the background. Look, got a butterfly. Um, as you can see, if I pan around here, that's the swing set we just dismantled. Uh, you can see the pipes. I would love to have a good way to disguise these because they drive me crazy. I mean, we have to have them to be noticeable so that uh, when you drive a mower back here, you know where it is. But I would love to like maybe get one of those decorative rocks or something to put around it just to hide it. Uh, this is the garden arbor that my husband just built. Love it. I would love to do something similar around the entrance to the backyard like I was just saying. Um, I also want to build a little structure to go over that barn door because I have a climbing hydrangea that I never should have planted there <laughs> because it's it's a monster. It's really it really wants to climb and wants to be much bigger than I'm allowing it to be. Um, so I kind of want to give it more space and train it to grow the other way instead of growing into the vegetable garden. Uh, I put it there because I literally had nowhere else to put it and I wanted to have one so uh, life of a gardener. <laughs> um, so anyway, so we're gonna, I'm gonna pan around. This is the remnants of the swing set, but just so you uh, can see the backyard, 
this whole area is the septic bed. So we made this area flat so we could put a swing set on it. But in doing that, there's a huge drop off and you can't really tell because I've planted it and the plants are starting to fill in. But uh, I planted every plant in this garden. Um, once it all really grows and fills in, you will not even see just how much of a drop off it is. And it just looks really pretty. It's almost, it's like you're walking through an arboretum. Uh, so uh, again, you could probably, you, you can see photos of how the garden looks throughout the season if you go to my website, stacyling.com and go under categories under garden. I did a weekly garden tour last year. You can literally see just how much the gardens grew and changed. Um, this little structure was a piece of the swing set that when my husband pulled it apart two weekends ago, it just kind of fell into place like that. I thought it was really cool. So uh, <laughs> the rungs used to be yellow. I didn't want to see yellow. So I just came out here with a can of spray paint and uh, I'm growing climbing roses of it. I just thought it was a cool structure to get some climbing roses to grow up and uh, wouldn't cost money because you know, it was the swing set. So that is the backyard garden. And then on the other side, I've got my two-tiered uh, two decks that my husband built himself. And then we've got some berry gardens over here. New Jersey is a great place to grow berries. So uh, it's the best climate actually to grow berries. So uh, I grow strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, you name it, uh, I grow it. And uh, yeah, so this is pretty cool. So let me, I'll show you the upper deck just so you can get a view of that and see what we did up there. All right, so these are these are my decks. We've got a lower deck down there that is more about like a living space with a, an outdoor fireplace. Um, really need to update the furniture that's like next on our list. But um, really, we hang out a lot here. I'm sure you can tell why. This deck used to get pelted with full sun and uh, we decided to try a gazebo on it and Boy, was that the best decision we ever made because it feels like we're literally sitting here at a country club. We love to be out here and we're out here all the time. Because this deck used to get full sun or does get full sun, we used to not be able to sit out here. So having the gazebo really made a huge difference and uh, we love it. So we're out here all the time and I planted all these containers. <laughs> this is whole deck, brought all my house plants out here. And uh, so that's the backyard.